Authorities across Asia are on high alert after Chinese health officials confirmed the virus could spread through human contact. At least six people have died in an outbreak of the new coronavirus, which has now reached the United States. A short time ago, the World Health Organization declared the outbreak an international public health emergency. Healthcare workers are now also starting to test positive. Eva Pilgrim is at Linux Health Hospital here in the city. How can I help you? I was just wondering, ma'am, if you had any change you could spare. I'm hungry and I'm homeless. I can understand. You know, I'm also homeless. You? Homeless? You can have this if you want. I just got it. I'm too tired to eat right now anyway. Oh, thank you. Very appreciative. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 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 hey, hey, are, are you all right? Yeah, <coughs> I'm all right. <coughs> I've been coughing like this for a couple of days now. <coughs> it's probably just my allergies. But I'm fine. I, I have a mask and sanitizer in the car. 
Yeah, there's a horrible virus going around. People are getting sick with fever and cough, and a lot of people aren't making it, so the mask is gonna help. All right, well, at least use the sanitizer. Use it all the time before and after eating, going to the bathroom, touching door handles, Ch change. So what you trying to say? I'm the one getting everybody sick? I ain't sick. I told you, it's my allergies. I ain't wearing that. No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Okay, it's just that this virus is killing thousands of people. People have it and don't even know they have it, so it's best to be safe and wear a mask. You know, we could actually beat this thing if we all just work together. I don't want to hear all that mess. Telling me I should wear a mask? That I'm the one getting everybody sick? Hell, look at you. You the one with the uniform. You the one work around all those sick people. You are the one getting everybody else sick. It's you, not me. All I asked you for was a little change so I could get something to eat. Please, I'm trying to help you. People are dying. Now, you could just have allergies or you could have the virus. Just go get checked out at a local hospital. Testing's free. Look, I'm not wearing no mask and I'm not going to no damn hospital. I'm fine. People are all blowing this virus up way, way, way too much. I'm not sick and I'm not going to get sick. Thank you for the food, ma'am. But I'm good. Dr. Kate, uh, sorry. I, I just closed my eyes for a minute. I'm awake though. It's okay. What's up? It's okay. I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to send you home. Really? Okay. Well, there's still little Charlie who just got his breathing normalized. There's Beth. I got to keep an eye on her. There's Brandon. Mary, He's Mary, it's okay. Everything is under control and everybody is stabilized. And thankfully, we can all breathe for the time being. Now look, I appreciate how hard you're working, pulling all these doubles. So I want to send you and a few others home. I want you to try and get some rest. Something better than in here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Spend some time with your kids. You've all been working so hard. The least you deserve is some time with your family. How does that sound? Sounds wonderful. Actually, it's it's much needed. Well, good. Thank you. It's settled then. Yeah. Go home, get some rest, and we'll see you back here at Shift Change. All right. Sounds good. Babe, you know the drill. I gotta take a shower first. Aww. Come on, come on, I know. I know. Hey, babe. How was your day? never been through anything like this before, Pete. 
people are dying all around me and I can't do anything. Like today, this little boy, he was trying so hard to be strong for his mom and all I could do was rub his back while he was gasping for air. Wow. And my LPN, she's getting worse. You know she's on a ventilator now? And she's so pale, it's like no one knows if she's gonna make it or not. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry to hear that. You have no idea what I'm going through. Like, this is absolutely horrible. We don't have enough ventilators, gloves, or masks. You know, I had to wear the same mask for five different patients today. Five. Do you know how unsanitary that is? It's no wonder my LPN got sick. And with the way things are going, like, we don't know if we're next. Pizza's ready. One more game, Mom. All right, hurry up. I want to see you before I go back to work. Back to work? What's wrong, Pete? Mary, Rachel called. She doesn't want Junior to come over tomorrow. Or the next day, or the day after that, or the day after that. Wait, why? Why do you think, Mary? She's scared. She's afraid Junior's gonna get COVID-19. Well, what's that have to do with us? If anything, I'm, we clean and sanitize more than anyone. It's you, Mary. Well, you in that damn hospital. She's afraid you're gonna bring coronavirus home and Junior's gonna get sick. And to be honest with you, she's not the only one. What's that supposed to mean? The neighbors. They don't even look at us anymore. And when I send DeAndre outside to get the little bit of fresh air he can get, they bring their kids in right away. How do you think that makes him feel? But you wouldn't know anything about that now, would you, Mary? You know why? Because you're never home. You're always at work. And what is this, pizza again? I mean, we barely get to see you as it is. So this is your idea now of quality family time, huh? Five minutes of pizza with DeAndre and me and then it's right back off to work? What do you want me to do, Peter? This is my job. I took an oath to help people in medical emergencies and this is a medical emergency. So what would you like me to do? Hmm? You want me to just forget everything I stand for and stay home with you? This is simple, Mary. What's more important to you? Those strangers are our family. Peter, them or us! I can't just abandon them. You know they need me. Then Mary, you should go. Just go. I'll take care of DeAndre. You take care of your patients. We'll see you when this whole pandemic thing is over. DeAndre, pizza, now. Mommy's gotta get back to work. already had to send five more people to ICU. Well, what happened to the ventilators that they ordered on last week? And then what's going to happen with the people that are in the ICU? All they told us is backward. They can't even say when we'll get them. And we still have all these people coming in constantly. It is just a mess. But do you know what happened? What? You know a lady got shot at the gas station after she got out of work from the hospital. For real? 
Yeah, because they think that she's spreading the disease by her being an essential worker. There's no way. I'm like, what can we do? We're trying to help somebody. They gonna kill us too? Hopefully not. I pray not. We'll get through this. All right, Doc. Good morning. Good morning, doctor. I am Dr. George. Now, as you know, we had been trying to get a ventilator for the last few weeks. Luckily, we were able to procure one last night. So he's okay then? Not quite. Unfortunately, this is not going to be an easy road for him. People who are on ventilators don't just lay down, watch a movie, read a magazine. They have a painful tube going down their throat, forcing them to breathe. They can't eat, they cannot talk, because they have this tube going down through their vocal cord. Matter of fact, there is no guarantee that he is going to defeat the virus. The ventilator, Although it is not a treatment for COVID, it gives them a fair chance to fight. In fact, the longer they stay with the ventilator, the less likely they will come out of it. But don't lose hope. Some do come out of it, and your brother could very well be one of them. Mary, let's get these virals, okay? okay? Good luck, and I will see you later. Oh, Mary, let's go ahead and order another COVID-19 test on him. We want to stay current for everyone's safety. Could you come with me, please? She wears the scars of a broken lady Trying to find a way back to a life she used to know Trying to make some sense of it all To look in her eyes, a story is the town Of a girl who's on Searching for self And if you see her The words she would say
Beth? Are you crying? I'm scared. Oh, sweetie. It's okay. You don't have to be scared. I know it's a big, loud machine, but it's not going to hurt you. Nothing bad's going to happen. I'm going to be right here, okay? Then afterwards, I think I got a donut for you. It might be about as big as this machine, but uh, how's that sound? <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You hang in there, okay? Mr. Peter Hartz? Yes, this is he. Husband of Miss Mary Hartz? Yes, yes. What's this all about? Listen, Mr. Hartz. I don't know how to tell you this, but Miss Mary's passed away. What? What did you just say? Miss Mary contracted the coronavirus, COVID-19 and it attacked her heart. No, there must be some mistake. My wife, she works at the hospital. She's not a patient. How could this have happened? I know how you feel, Mr. Hart. I really do. It seems as though Miss Mary, she had an unknown and underlying heart condition. She went in to take a patient's vitals. She collapsed on the floor. She went to cardiac arrest. The coronavirus caused your wife to have a heart attack. No, you're wrong. You're, you're wrong. This, this, no, this couldn't have happened. This is a mistake. I'm very sorry for your loss. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. I need to see her. I need to see my wife. I understand how you feel. But because of COVID-19 and its transmission rate, we can't allow visitors to the hospital right now. I'm sorry. No! This is wrong! You can't do this! That's my wife, the mother of my children! We need to see her! We deserve to see her! I am so sorry for your loss, Mr. Hartz. Truly, I am. Take care of yourself, Peter. <laughs> Why couldn't they protect her? I thought she was safe. She helps everyone. Why couldn't you help her? Damn this coronavirus! <laughs>
Hey, Mary. Mm. That's a new patient in the ER. Dr. Kate needs you over there. Okay, all right, thank you. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, ma'am, ma'am. Can we get our pulse ox stat? Ma'am, ma'am, ma you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Mary, Mary, can we get some oxygen stat? She's losing consciousness. Okay, come on, ma'am. Come on, Mary. Let's go. Do you know her? Mary. Mary. Is everything okay? Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I think I've seen her before. <laughs> you were right, and I was wrong. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's going to be okay, all right? We're going to get you breathing. Just hang in there. <laughs> Okay, so we just got our labs back on our patient here, and I'm a little bit concerned on a couple of these elevated levels. So I want you to do a repeat Morning. on the vitals. And Morning, Matthew. Morning, Matthew. So can you do a repeat on those vitals in 10 minutes for him? And I'm also gonna order a repeat on the CBC. Okay. All right, give me Thank one you. second, I'm gonna answer this. Yes. Hey, Mary, you have a visitor in the waiting room. For me? Yes, and she is demanding. Okay. Uh, yeah, just give me like five minutes, okay? Okay. Alrighty. All right. Bye. Hi, Nurse Mary. Hello, my little angel. How have you been? I'm better now. I just wanted to talk to you because I'm going home today. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, Mary. It was really scary being at the hospital. I wish my mom was there, but she died when I was four. Oh, sweetie, I'm sorry to hear that. I know that must have been tough for you guys. It is, but it is okay because I have my dad and he takes care of me always. <laughs> I'm sure he does. You know, he's doing a great job with raising such a wonderful young lady. Yeah, but he's sad because he told me he's the one who got me sick. But I told him it is okay because I'm better now. <laughs> it was really scary being sick, but I have my dad and now I have you, Nurse Mary. I love you, Nurse Mary. I love you too, sweetie. Oh. Mary, mm -hmm. I really feel like I have a mom now, and I, I was wondering, can I call you mom? <laughs> of course you can. Where are my mom, my mother Mary? CDC Director Robert Redfield says everyone in America needs to wear a mask or this coming fall could be, quote, the worst we've ever had. Alex Perez reports from Chicago. This morning, researchers used by the COVID task force predicting three of the next likely hotspots for the virus to hit Chicago, Boston, and Baltimore. We're just seeing significant... <laughs> happening late in the summer, acknowledging that we only have weeks left before... <sighs> There's a police officer outside, says she needs to speak with you. What about? She didn't say. She didn't mention it at all, but it must be important. Come on, okay. Yeah, she's right out front. Okay. 
Hi, officer. Can I help you? Are you Mary Hartz? Yes. Mary Hartz of Memorial Hospital? Yes. I'm sorry, what's, what's going on here? I'm pleased to inform you that absolutely nothing is wrong. I just came from Memorial Hospital. They see how hard you've been working during this pandemic and the sacrifices you've been making. The hospital wants to recognize you and show you their appreciation. That's where I come in. Mary, please step outside with me. She wears the scars of a broken But it is for you to recognize and honor all that you do for our community. Wow. It's amazing. Here's for you, Mary. You are an inspiration here to other people. Thank you for all your unselfish actions and sacrifices to help other people. Because of people like you, so many lives are here today. You are a real hero. Thank you for placing others in front of you to fight the battle in the front line while everybody's staying home safe. We always pray for frontline workers like you. Okay, Mary, good luck to you. She was no ordinary lady She loved on everyone that she would come to know And time had became what she would be To look at her smile A story it would tell Of a girl who's full of love Searching for hell And when you would see her cry The words she would say Baby, I love you And I'm so proud of you I love you too I'm sorry about everything I said And everything that happened between us It's okay No, it's not okay The way you treat me and the kids so good and everyone. I am blessed to have you in my life. Please. Will you please forgive me? Of course I will. <laughs> of course I will. Yes? I don't mean to bother you, but are you Mary Hart? 
Yes. Can I help you? <sighs> Are you okay? Um, yeah, um, a friend of mine shared your dedication parade on Facebook. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. Thank you. So I got curious and I read some of your posts. That's when I knew I had to beat you. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Really? You don't know it, but you have changed my life. I, I have? I don't mean to keep you, but... It's okay. A few months ago, I finally got the courage to open up my own clothing store. I put so much into it. My heart, sweat, tears. My life savings. I had a pretty good start, you know? A nice grand opening, a few busy days. And then the coronavirus hit. I went from small business owner to broke out of luck just like that. I'm really, really sorry to hear that. Um, it's Eve. Eve? Um, I mean, that sounds so rough. I know, things were looking pretty bleak, and um, then the ban happened. I didn't have any customers. I had to close my store. Mary, I didn't know what to do. I almost lost hope. But because of you, my business is thriving again. Because of me? Yes. I saw you on Facebook. Oh, you work so hard and sacrifice so much, yet you keep smiling. Well, I try to keep a positive attitude. And it's... you are, oh, you inspire me. I started thinking, instead of feeling sorry for myself, what can I do, you know? And then it hit me. You keep saying that we have a shortage of masks and gloves, right? I got a fully operating clothing store where I tell her my own clothes. Why not tell a mask? Oh my God. Eve, that is a wonderful idea. That's great. I know. Wait, it, it gets even better than that. <laughs> because I got my business, it's about thriving again. I decided to give back. Okay. I'm donating 20% of my profits to frontline workers. And I'm donating masks to all the local hospitals. You helped save us. Now it's our turn to give back. Let's see, I got a mask for you. Oh, I like this. <laughs> These are all the masks that I'm getting ready to take oh. over to the hospital right now. Oh my God. Eve, Eve, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, I know they're not, I know they're not perfect, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I know they're not perfect. They're not as good as the N95s, but you know, at least they're better than, than nothing, right? That's okay. I'm sure they'll work just fine. All right, Th thank you so much. I wish I could hug you. <laughs> no. Hey, let's do an elbow. Okay. okay. <laughs> Eve, man, thank you so much. I wish the community had more people like you, like, we definitely appreciate this. Oh, we appreciate you too, Mary. Okay. Thank you. And hey, good luck with your business. I know you'll do fine, oh. okay? All right, I'll see you soon. You know where to find me. All right.
To look in her eyes A story it would tell Of a girl who's all alone Searching for self And if you see her The words she would say Was no ordinary lady She loved on everyone that She would come to know In time it became what she would be